I think that the, the big transformation was that a few years ago, if you wanted to use all this data to do all the glorious things that, that sort of I talked about in the keynote this morning, you would have to pay a lot of money, which automatically reduced the number of companies that could benefit from that thing. But after Google bought um, Urchin and made it into Google Analytics, made it free, now you have enterprise analytics for free. Then Yahoo did the exact same thing. They bought index tools and released a free Yahoo Analytics. So the free tools today in the marketplace give you the same kind of clickstream analysis that you might be able to get from a site catalyst or a web trends analytics and things like that. What the paid vendors do provide, and so, so all that is the same. You might as well not pay for it, just get it for free. But if you're a specialized company that wants to create a data, that's want to buy a data warehouse of all your web analytics data and be able to integrate it with some other things that you're doing and run very complex queries, well then to buy the data warehousing components, you have to pay money because Google and Yahoo who make these wonderful tools don't have that solution. Or for example, you might buy from WebTrends a A-B testing solution that they also sell. Now with Yahoo, there, there's no A-B testing solution. So, when you think about paid vendors, the great thing to think about is not to buy the solutions that you could get for free and they're very good, but take that money and buy the more, more expensive things that you can't, buy for, you can't get for free. Buy those from the paid vendors. And the other thing that I like to say is one of my favorite rules that I created uh, five years ago when I worked it into it was the, the 1090 rule. And the 1090 rule says that if you have $100 to make decisions on the web and do them well, you should invest $10 in the tools and consulting services. And you should invest $90 in the people. Because the web is so complex, data is free. The thing that will make a difference to your organization is not having many tools, because you can get them free. And your competitor too. The, the, the thing that will make you great is that you take those dollars, find very smart, bright people, invest in them, pay them lots of salary because they can then take that data and make sense of it and get you to make better decisions. And I think that what most companies do is say, this is by all the tools and then they're surprised that they don't make data driven decisions. The, the, the most interesting thing about social media is less measurement. It's, it's that we've lived in a world where a marketing essentially is shouting at people. We shout through television, we shout to magazines and radio and hope there is somebody at the other end who's listening to our shouting and they're not in the bathroom or reading a novel and not paying attention to us. When we move to the internet marketing, it became a bit more relevant because when you type a query in Google, you get a relevant search results, it became relevant. But, but the fundamental shift in marketing now is what I call moving away from shout marketing, conversational marketing. Is that by participating in conversations with you on Facebook and Twitter and all these other places, we're trying to influence you, right? So influence is changing. And, and that's why social media is so intriguing. Not, not that you can have a lot of followers and other nonsense. It's, it's that the, it, it, it is the next way of doing marketing by influencing people, not by shouting at them, but by having these conversations. So that's, that's why it's so important. And a web analytics tool allow you to do some basic measurements of these things. Um, but most um, uh, tools that I use to measure success on Twitter and Facebook and all those things are these uh, small startups from around the world that have created really great tools. So I would say that web analytics tools are probably two steps removed from from having the sophistication required because their mental model is still very much in website page analytics and, and not quite in this conversation analytics. So, so I like using tools like Cloud and Analyze Words and, and many, many other tools to truly measure conversation, influence, uh, message amplification. These are metrics, a number of retweets per thousand followers. These, these are metrics that I've created um, to measure this new world because it's so different from where we exist today. So I encourage um, you and, and of course our listeners to go and explore um, these new tools because I think that at the moment at least, they will provide a much better source of true success measurement um, when compared to using just traditional analytics.